Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to have an awesome day. We're gonna take you guys with us to go visit two properties. One is gonna be vacant, one is gonna be full of tenants. So we are excited to see the difference between the two, how they're kept, how they're not kept, and uh, just kind of see what we can do with them, if we can potentially get them under contract, make him a good offer, yep. and, yep. Uh, and get things going. But I'm gonna have Max kind of quickly introduce a, a little bit about these properties and um, we'll go from there. Yeah, so those properties we actually got with zero advertising. We just put it out on Facebook, you know, Facebook local local marketplaces, some buying trail, uh, buying and trade websites or groups, I, I would have to say. We just posted if you're interested in, in buying local properties, see any conditions, looking for some fix and flips. So we are targeting some distressed properties. Obviously, they need renovation. It's not going to be a new build. It's not going to be a property that looks you know, shiny from the outside. It definitely is going to be something that needs improvement. Yeah. So you can add value to it and make your return and by adding value to it, improving the, the neighborhoods. You know, most of the time those properties are vacant, the homeless people taking advantage of them and we just have to go in there, improve them, help the neighbors improve their neighborhood and um, add value to it. So we're excited to see um, how they will go today. We are not going to take Lovely with us today. Usually we always have Lovely um, with us on those trips, but they look kind of vacant and I don't want to, you know, run into any trouble with her there. Um, Isn't but yeah, that right? Usually, usually we always have a little baby dog with us. She's, you know, part of our adventures. <laughs> yes, she is. She definitely She's what keeps us sane and happy. So she will not be joining us with this trip, but, but... Some of our other trips we will have Lovely with us exploring some, you know, local real estate. Um, she's definitely, she's definitely excited. She knows we're going somewhere and she hopes that she can come with us. But today, today she's actually not coming, right Lovely? <laughs> but it's okay. It's so okay. yes, we're, we're very excited. This is going to be our first one of this, uh, well, ending off the year. So, um, so very excited about that and yeah, we will take you guys on, on some more in the future. Definitely, you know, let us know what kind of things you guys wanted to see. You guys are going to take you to some of those deals that we're going to do next year, uh, flogging some of those transactions. We're going to Florida, looking at some properties, some land, some homes there in Florida as well for investment, for wholesale, potentially some rentals down there. Um, next year, hopefully, we're going to look at some multifamily units that we're going to buy and we'll flog that entire process. Um, also doing some new developments in Las Vegas. So we have a lot of stuff going on and take you guys along the way. So we're excited for that first one. Um, it's going to be a vacant, hopefully fix and flip slash wholesale here in, in Eugene, Oregon. And um, excited to get started. Let's go. Lastly, wait, if you haven't already, oh yeah, like and subscribe, follow us. Let us know what you want us to do. Like Max mentioned, comment on this video. Let us know how you felt about it. Um, and then also we are live lovely, on- Lovely appreciates all the likes. Yes. So at least give her a little <laughs> like for being part of that. <laughs> and but we are live on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok even. TikTok. Yeah, everywhere, right Lovely? You want to say all something? Right. You want to say something really quick before we end? No? All right, then let's go. Let's go, guys. So Lovely is always sad that we're leaving, but today she's <laughs> not coming with us. Well, usually we always take Lovely with us. This is why she's really happy and she wants to come. But today there's oh. actually no space. Unfortunately, we're not going to take her. But we'll be for back. one of our next trips, you will have her with us and you guys will see how lovely is um, driving for dollars. She yes. always gets all the attention and clients feel really comfortable when she's there. So she's always at plus. But today she's stayed home because we have to go to multiple stops. And I don't want her to be in the car all day long. Right guys, let's go on our journey. We are driving to our first property. We are about 10, 12 minutes away from it. Um, and this is going to be a single family home that has been vacant for how many years do you think? Three? Well, I don't know. I actually don't know. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. He has two homes. Um, 
yeah, we will see how that goes today. So initially, like I mentioned, we've, we've gotten that property, that lead from a Facebook post. But there, there are multiple ways about, you know, getting those leads. You can drive around your neighborhood to find those deals by just looking at distressed properties. Um, in fact, here, look at this one right here. In fact, it looks like a perfect deal. You see that house here? It looks a little rough. It looks like it needs some renovation. Um, looks like, you know, the last four or five years, the owner hasn't really put a lot of effort into this property so we could actually go in figure out the address of the property skip trace it call the owner and then make them an offer to see if they're willing to sell that property um, so this is like one of those those things that you can do driving around finding those deals cold calling people um, or you know you post on facebook you post anywhere that you're interested in selling and see what you can get or what kind of leads you can get yeah or you know even uh, sending mailing campaigns out you pull lists and just pull lists to a lot of properties and tell them hey you know it's kate and max we're looking to buy a property are you interested in selling and have them reach out to you so there are multiple ways especially but because these homes and at least in this area are older homes so they're not newly developed um, and a lot of them look run down so you can tell that a lot of these owners don't have, you know, great contact with the uh, people renting them because a lot of them are trashy. Yeah, and then we are not probably not going to do a fix and flip with those kind of properties. Um, usually we don't really do fix and flips. I think um, there is more money to be made in other kinds of real estate transactions with less risk and less effort into it. Yeah. Um, but we usually you know, take them, wholesale them, find investors locally that do those things because uh, there are a lot of investors that like to do those fix and flips. You can buy them cheap. It's just really hard right now to find under current market conditions to find properties where you can actually have, you know, once you add value to it, where you can make profit. Um, so with that being said, now you have to look at properties that are really distressed, you know, properties that people usually stay away from because those ones are the ones that you can buy extremely cheap and then obviously you have to put the work in you have to to pay those bills to get the property back to value but then at the end of the day once you do it and you go through that process you have more value at the end of the day to wholesale than on those properties that are not as distressed because usually you know the owners have a certain price in mind their realtors already involved so it's going to be close to market value now there's you know you do you can still make maybe five thousand dollars or something on a fix and flip but you know if you talk about forty fifty thousand dollar fix and flips then you definitely have to find those properties that you can get you know for 20 25 cents on a dollar extremely yeah, cheap yeah. you put in renovation money in and this is what we're hoping to get today right we have seen it on google maps it still definitely looks distressed i don't know how bad is it really going to be um but yeah that'll yes. be one of those ideal ones you get them really cheap uh, and then we wholesale them or if it really has a lot of potential we might look into buying them getting some private money in making you know hiring contractors to renovate it ourselves and then see what we can get at the end of the day but we will keep you updated we'll see how that goes and yeah once we get there uh, we'll guys you know show you around as much as we can obviously you have to make sure that uh, the owner is fine with us filming and also the duplex he has the tenants are fine with us filming but yeah we'll keep you guys along the way as much as we can and and show you know the real side of of doing some of those real estate transactions all right and it looks like we are pulling up here so we will see you guys outside all right we are a minute away from this property and we are Pulling right up here. I think it's on the right hand side. It looks like this is in a pretty compact neighborhood. Um, there's a lot of duplexes in here and also single family. Clearly see this property is vacant and needs improvements, right? Uh, in most circumstances, nobody would like to buy something like this. But you know, if you get something like that under contract for a really cheap price, um, there is a chance to still make a good profit because somebody else can go in there do those renovations so this is not just a you know cosmetic touch-up obviously this will be a full renovation um but yeah let's check it out let's see what the neighbor says or the owner says and um yeah it definitely did not look that bad on <laughs> on picture on google street view yeah you can see there's like a broken down trailer and but there's a uh, you know a lot of value to add to this property and that's one thing the value adding approach 
um, he can definitely improve that neighborhood because that's like a one property that is not in a good position. Um, yeah, but the neighbor properties don't look too bad. So let's just go out there, check out and see what we can do with it. So there's like a giant teddy bear. Just oh, look at that! There's a deer! A deer in the backyard. Oh damn. You guys see that? There's a deer in the backyard. We are trying to get a hold of the owner. <laughs> it could be. Definitely needs renovation. You yeah. can smell there's a little moldy, there's some water damages. All right guys, so we just finished up watching, looking at the, the first home that we're driving to the duplex that he also has for sale. And um, on the way down, we just talked to the neighbors. So the neighbors actually bought a home in a similar situation like that. It was also pretty rough, vacant, and they renovated it and it was looking great. So we had a quick conversation with them, you know, on how much they paid for that property, how much they put into renovation. So we get an understanding of how much it would be for us. And then we actually also had a conversation with them. Uh, they were actually asking what's the price because they were interested in potentially doing um, another re renovation for themselves because right now they're moving into that property um, just down the street and they would like to do an investing property where they just do that same thing, fix and flip it. Um, so we actually took the information down and depending on if you're gonna do a deal with that right property, we will reach out to them and see you know, if you can potentially wholesale to the neighbors because obviously they know that area, they're passionate about it. Um, they like that area because they're living there as well. So there might be a good you know, potential for us to go ahead, wholesale it to them, have them renovate the property, especially because they know the construction piece of it. Um, so yeah, we're going to the duplex right now. I mean, tour you, we'll show you around doing that trip there as well. And um, yeah, stay tuned. So we just drove past the second property and it looks very similar to the last property we were just at. Um, we actually decided not to park in the actual driveway because there was not much parking and it was kind of packed with some trash, so. At least it's not vacant. He, he said that actually people living in there right now, paying rent. Um, so in a way it's a cash producing asset. So we'll, <laughs> we'll go ahead and take a look and see you know how that property looks like. So here is the house. So you own it, you own all of them, right? You can see right? that yes. it is also loaded with some trash on a highway here, kind of like a back road highway so and then like that? a huge highway out in the front. Oh, wow. the car, so it is louder. So this property is really, really bad. We just went inside and it was absolutely disgusting. Hey guys, so that was very interesting. Uh, we went inside. Let's summarize in one word what he just saw. Yeah, he actually let us go inside and there are already tenants there and they... First of all, no warning, right? So he just pulled up He's like, okay, come on guys, I'll show you around. So he just literally opened the door and that dog freaked out first of all. And I, I even told him like, it's all good. I don't have to see the inside because I was super uncomfortable. I mean, the tenants were like, you could tell they were trying to clean up some shit because yeah. they probably did some, you know, not legal things to so just keep it this way. And um, yeah, basically you saw them like jump up in the kitchen, like fucking throw their stuff around. Ah. And the smell was the so smell. bad. Ugh. It was like cigarette, dog <laughs> piss. Mold. Mold. I have a headache. <laughs> yeah. Um, and... But I mean, here's the thing, right? So if you talk about fix and flips, I mean, those things are the... I wouldn't say ideal, um, but in a way ideal um, properties because obviously they're distressed, obviously there's no really demand of buying those things. You can go in, you can make the improvements and you can make a lot of money because you can buy those things cheap, right? Nobody can ask a lot of money for, for property that stinks like mold and that clearly in every way that you look at it and turn around, 
needs improvements to the highest degree. Um, in fact, you know, most people that we know in real estate, they do fix and flips. They take, this is what they hunt for, right? We, we've had people talk stories about they open the door and it's just stinks like cast, cat piss everywhere because the previous owner had a bunch of cats and it was all, you know, totally worn down. And, and those other things you take, you put the improvements to it, you put another forty, ninety thousand dollars or whatever it might take into those properties, sell it and make, you know, a forty, fifty thousand dollar chunk of it. It's a pretty decent profit, right? Considering that most people make around 50 to 70K maybe a year. So you just do one of them. Obviously it takes you six months. It takes you sweat, blood and, and energy to do it. And you make a good profit. But there are multiple ways of real estate. And we guys are going to show you multiple ways where you can make money a lot more convenient. And we wanted to take a look at those. Um, because, you know, initially from looking at Google Maps and, and those kind of things, it doesn't didn't look as bad, right? You don't have the chance to go in the property. So it looked kind of like, okay, there's some improvements, but yeah, now going into it, I have to definitely recalculate. Um, he wants to use the money for selling those two properties to buy another property that he's going to live in. And um, I don't think we can give him a lot for those properties. I'm no. not exactly sure if you find them, uh, you know, a match here. He was asking 650, 650 for that duplex, which is actually a triplex. So actually, actually is a multi, <laughs> it is a multi-family unit because there were, there was a, a three bedroom house and apparently a duplex. So basically both in the same lot, he built a duplex, but they were like in a trailer. Yeah. And there here's like the thing. Cars parked. And the flooring is planks of wood or not even planks of wood it's like what? I don't even know what it is it's not secure the flooring is not secure I would say the walls are the only things that are secure I think the roof looked a little odd as well so it's a lot of bone and structure work that is going to take a lot of money and time they definitely don't follow any rules I mean there were like yeah. 10 15 people living in there right every single room had like a mattress and um the owners seemed not to care about it we mm -hmm. talked to the tenants you know i was talking to them about how they like it and it seems like they love that property you know those people are prop in need right they're in need of those properties um obviously they don't pay a lot of money for the government is even supporting them to live there yeah and that's one thing like you can go in you can make improvements to it you can help those people out now it's not going to make you rich at the end of the day because on a wholesale perspective, you know, most investors don't want to deal with those kind of properties because those tenants are not the tenants that um, you initially want to have in, in your properties. Yeah. There's a lot of problems with them. You always have to double check, you know, they don't have sufficient jobs. Um, so the government pays for it. Um, that's that's one thing that's good about it. At least, you, you know, you get that rent, but they're just not clean. It's going to be Nothing tough to wholesale clean. this property. You have to find somebody who's, you know, focused on adding value to lower class uh, properties and helping those people out now it's going to be hard to get you know if you want to get rid of those properties or rid of the tenants and you want to make clear rules that as only you know three bedrooms means three people not ten people yeah um i personally wouldn't take it on i tell you guys that uh there's just a lot of real estate out there that is a lot easier where you can make more money without any hustle this is why you should always look inside the properties and not just the outside because the outside yeah there was trash there was multiple cars but the inside was like a whole different thing i mean looking on the outside it didn't look as bad for sure i can just say that but you know this is this is what we do as flocks we show you like the real life real estate you know if you start doing real estate and if you start looking for homes you guys will get along well, you guys will find a lot of these properties where you go, we go in here and it just hits you. I wish we would have videotaped going inside, although we couldn't because it was on the spot and you know, yeah, that's their personal space. Inter yeah, yeah. interfere with their personal space. But I'm saying fix and flip sounds really nice on the outside. You, know, you go in, you buy a house cheap, you fix it up, you flip it. But you don't buy new builds, right? You don't buy yeah. new builds. You don't buy properties in perfect conditions. You buy those lots that you walk in and it just hits you. It smells, it looks trash, and you already see OMG, there's a, there's a bunch of work for us to do. <laughs> and those are the ones that, you know, 
have the potential to improvement so if yeah. you guys want to go into fix and flips this is what you guys are dealing with but luckily real estate is not all about fix and flips right and also if you're going to get a fix and flip then you want to hope to get it at a good price and for the price that these ones were selling at it just wasn't worth the time effort and energy um but you know for some investors it is worth the time and energy because the price is perfect right i was still making them offer on monday just from a wholesale perspective because you know if the price is right there's always a buyer for it um and obviously he doesn't seem to have those connections to sell them himself he just doesn't even want to deal with them he doesn't want to work with anything like that so um, as long as he gets some cash out of it, he'll be fine. So the first property we're probably looking at, you know, maybe eighty to a hundred thousand dollars. We know that properties in that neighborhood are, you know, assessed for four hundred, around four, four fifty. Um, now I'm probably putting two hundred thousand dollars into that property to make it really, you know standard of, of that neighborhood it's in a good location so you pay for the location yeah. but to make it attractive for somebody right you probably put get it on a contract for 80 and you you if you're lucky your wholesale for 90 95 and then whoever else buys them they're going to put the work in right they have that estimate of how much it's going to cost usually it costs more to to finish it up at the end of the day um and then they also want to make 40 50 thousand dollar profit on that property on a, once they wholesale it especially the landscaping this was one thing you know if the landscaping would have been fine uh that, that's one thing but you would have literally had to do the entire home and the entire outside the garden cutting trees getting a you know planting everything i mean it was just it was just bad it was just really bad but we'll make him off on monday we see if we get that on the contract if so we will follow up on the vlog if not it's all fine you know those are you're not really focused on the fib fix and flip um section we do a lot of vacant land new bills we do multi-family um we do wholesales of you know properties that have been built like five years ago that we find um we don't really do the fix and flips yeah. i'm not really into the construction piece and i think it's too much work yeah um there are a lot of other ways um, but it's always worth looking for a wholesale and at least you guys see the, the truth of you know what fix and flip looks like but check out other videos that we have on our channel we'll tell you about you know wholesaling land wholesaling uh nice properties doing new developments without money out of pocket or how to buy a multi-family with no money out of pocket uh there's so many ways to make money in real estate and that is just one of them but thank you so much for for being here with us uh we're heading back home now getting some fresh air taking our little dog lovely on a walk she was at home um, waiting for us to come back so we're gonna take her on a little walk and then um we typically like to take her on things like this but thank the lord we didn't take her on this one because with especially with that other dog in the home that would have yeah, been insane first home, <laughs> she would have seen the deer she would have freaked out oh, about yeah. the deer because lovely likes to you know chase squirrels chase deers everything she sees <laughs> and chase her own tail <laughs> so uh yeah yeah but Luckily, yeah. we didn't do that. Thank you guys for being here with us today. Stay tuned. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Like and, subscribe. and follow us on our Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter. You name it. Uh, the more followers we have, the more we can share with you guys and, and uh, spread a positive impact on your guys' lives if you're wanting to get into real estate. Um, so we are, we are active on all channels. So... Yeah, Give just us a let follow. us know in the comments, you know, what you guys want to see. Yeah. Uh, this is the real truth. You're not faking anything here. So if you guys want to see certain projects, you guys take you through it, how it really is, right? That it all looks shiny in the outside, but there are a lot of, you know, not so shiny things along the way to get to make money. Um, so we'll take you along those, those processes um, like today, but there's going to be a lot cooler stuff coming up soon. So stay tuned for some <laughs> other videos that we have. We're going to show you literally how to make money with no money down. Yeah. How we did it, how we started our story and all those things. Um, so I'm excited for you guys and just give us the, the like and share and let us know what else you guys wanted to see. And we'll go ahead and um, take it into consideration, make some new videos for you guys. All right. Bye guys. Bye-bye.